We're very excited to have the UAS technology here in Colinga. The really great partnership with the UAS and the Colinga field operations team is really a win-win situation for both of us. This proof of concept can really help achieve where we want to be at, you know, with safety and also with our productivity. After a year of research and preparation with the teams from not only UWT but also from ETC, we're finally ready to take to the sky. The San Joaquin Valley was the first business unit within Chevron to apply to the Federal Aviation Administration for a 333 exemption. That exemption allowed us to be able to fly within certain areas within the San Joaquin Valley uh, in order to support our operations. I am the aviation liaison for the San Joaquin Valley Business Unit with our aviation partners. And so we have a Chevron Aviation Group that we stay closely engaged with that has come and drafted standards which above those of the FAA have established what are really we think to be the oil field specific safe practices that as a minimum we have to abide by. So here in the field we utilize those standards to vet our contractors and then we use those standards to guide our day-to-day -day operations here of UASs so that we meet the required level of safety that Chevron expects of all of our operations. We try and start from requirements and you know, work with the clients to understand what needs to be done and then we work backwards to sensors and then the UAVs that house those sensors. There's not one UAV that meets all of your needs. So for this specific project we brought multi-rotors to a fixed wing to what you see right here uh, to help map the oil field to capture thermal uh, imagery and to really prove the value of unmanned systems. So one of the things that we're trying to do right now with the U.S. program is to get the data. We're, we're after the most is the data. The focus is to collect high resolution imagery, thermal IR data, as well as digital point clouds in order to create digital elevation maps. This information can be used to create new base maps for all our fields, along with being able to, for the first time, be able to create thermal image maps across all our fields as well, especially in those areas where we're doing steam flooding or any other type of steam distribution systems. The technological possibilities of the pilot are just limitless for us. We could look at anything from pipeline inspection processes to real-time leak detection and monitoring. So my participation with POC um, is in terms of providing support for data processing. So there's a lot of potential to reduce health, uh, environment and safety exposures through the use of unmanned aerial systems. I see a lot of potential collaborations with San Joaquin Valley Business Unit as we move forward. As a corporation, we are getting up to speed on this and the San Joaquin Valley is, is working as a test ground for us to, to, to learn how do we do these operations safely, how do we do them efficiently, what are the things we need to know, what are the questions we need to ask. This pilot down here at San Joaquin Valley Business Unit is really kind of leading the way uh, in terms of deploying unmanned aerial systems you know, in a, on a global basis. UAS technology is really something that's taken off and I think for all of Chevron has an opportunity for changing some of the ways we do business and providing a great amount of value. So I'm really excited to incorporate this new technology into our Chevron operations and then share those lessons and everything that we learn here across the corporation so that we can build value elsewhere. It's just an exciting time.